hey you guys, thanks for joining our Facebook group um, called Essentially Oiled Pets. So you're probably wondering, what are these essential oils about and why am I going to need them for my pets? Well, that's what we're here for, to teach you and to show you the value in what we're talking about. So I'm gonna discuss with you the top 10 oils that doTERRA carries and they come in a kit called the Home Essentials Kit. This is the kit that's gonna give you the best value because it's bundled and it's gonna give you the top 10 medicinal oils that you can use on your animals. So this is Leo, this is my big, giant, 110 pound European Basset, and he's got these giant leather things here that uh, tend to always get gross, dirty, yeasty, stinky, and get infected. Um, so I get to use my essential oils on him, which act as an antibiotic, acts as an anti-yeast, um, actually cleans his ears and protects his immune system rather than me running to the vet, spending hundreds of dollars and getting on antibiotics. So this is what has worked for us. Um, I'm a European Basset Hound breeder for the last 12 years and we've utilized holistic natural means to care for our herd um, and our top choice is using the doTERRA oils in place of a lot of the chemicals and um, prescription so it's been a win-win anyway so for his ear issues I would use lavender frankincense and melaleuca and those three oils which are right here in this kit that I'm going to be talking about those three oils are in that kit and frankincense is a huge value to get in a kit because frankincense alone wholesale is 70 bucks so getting it in a bundled kit is the best bang for your buck. So I'm gonna be pointing out tips like that uh, for you too. You can always buy your oils individually, but it doesn't make a lot of financial sense to do that. So um, basically, I started with frankincense here. So frankincense can is, is basically something that you're gonna use probably with a lot of things that you do because it drives the oils in, it enhances the different oils that you're gonna be using, it's highly anti-inflammatory, and it's basically called the king of all oils because it does everything. It's great for skin, it's a, great for anti-yeast, um, antibiotic use, um, antiviral, antibacterial. It's super soothing and super safe for the skin and you can take it internally. So basically all the oils um, that I'm gonna be talking about can be used three ways. The ones that can't be used internally, I will tell you. But three ways of application would be topically. So when you're dealing with an animal, topically, it's gonna to go right into their skin and down in through all the layers and into the bloodstream within 20, 30 seconds. So a safe place to put it, on, to get it into the body would be the back paws. So we do everything pretty much on the back paws unless you wanna go directly to the site on what you're trying to soothe. So let's say if it's muscle problems, joint issues, you know, arthritis, things like that, that hurt, you'd probably wanna put it right on the site topically. And we always use dilution. So the dilution is fractionated coconut oil, okay? And when you get this kit I'm talking about, you're gonna get this bottle of fractionated oil, uh, coconut oil from us free. You're also gonna get these two spray bottles up here and three roller bottles. It's just our gift to you for letting us help you and it's about a $30 value that we'll send to you when you get your kit. Um, okay, so topically was the first way. Internally is another way to use, utilize these oils. Now, not all of them can be taken internally. A little, some of them are, are too powerful on the membranes to ingest. So the ones that can't be taken internally is deep blue. Okay, deep blue is for pain. And it's this, this bottle, we're only using a drop or two at a time. Hi, baby. And like I said, if his joints are hurting, if he's having some kind of painful thing, you can just drop a drop or two right on, put some fractionated coconut oil with it, and just rub it and massage it in. All right, that's going to satisfy that, that ouchie really great. So the third way to use is diffusion, and that's aromatic. And you can see up here this diffuser. It's omitting the oils into the air. It becomes aromatic. They're volatile, so they're, they're going up into the air. And we're breathing that in. And so perfectly safe for animals to be able to experience in it, the oils that way. And what that does for them is keeps them calm or it, depending on what oils you're using, it can take out the environmental threats in the air, the allergens, mold, um, 
virus, bacterial things that are the microbials that are in the air. So it's it could be used that way, um, or it just helps you know emotionally, calming, soothing. You a lot of dogs experience high anxiety, so putting some lavender in there, or some serenity, or some balance. Um, there's many oils that produce a calming overall effect because what the oils will do is go into the olfactory system of ourselves, of our animals, and it just produces a calming sensation. So the rest of the top 10 oils I'll go through real quickly. So this one is On Guard. On Guard is basically anything that you want to use antibacterial wise or antiviral. Um, it's, it's, a, it's a blend of oils that are used for anti biotic use. So topically, aromatically, and internally. For allergies, we have lemon, peppermint, and lavender. Those three in combination create an incredible antihistamine for your dog um, in replacement of Benadryl or um, anything that is like anti-allergy, maybe that prescription-wise, you'd want to try that first. Do you want to get up and walk around? Hmm. Um, so lemon, lavender, and peppermint in combination meaning a couple drops at a time. You can even do that in your hand. A couple drops at a time, put some fractionated coconut oil in there and then rub it in. You can do it in pill form. So let's say like a veggie cap, which is empty veggie capsules that you open. You can drip a couple of drops of the oils in there, put the thing together and have them gobble that down. Um, or again, aromatically. Usually when I'm really treating something, I will do it three ways. Topically, aromatically, and internally, if the oils are able to be internalized. Okay, so then we've got Melaleuca, which a lot of controversy has been on the internet. Remember, we're talking about doTERRA oils, which stand alone. Um, you cannot compare them to other brands. It is a brand in itself that has proven itself over and over again scientifically as the top essential oil that is available in the world. So our company is completely different than the rest because we have an open disclosure policy where you can view all the test results. So it's not just taking our word for what's in the oil in the exact bottle you're getting, it's actually proven. So that's all open to the public where other oil companies will claim to have the same kind of disclosure, the same kind of testing, but they don't allow the public to see those. So guys, the proof is in the pudding. Um, it's kind of a no-brainer that if we're giving you our test results, that means that our company is completely transparent. Not only that, we have a full panel of veterinarians that utilize these oil in their practice on a daily basis. Um, we're in over 125 hospitals right now, and there's no other essential oil company that is being used in that way. So if you want to be the safest and have the most potent and purest form of plant medicine available, you want to go this route. And that's why we trust it. As animal lovers, I didn't start off this way. Um, I got to know what I wanted to do and I chose a company that was the number one um, that doctors and veterinarians are already ut utilizing. Okay, and then we've got breeze. So anything upper respiratory, so coughing, congestion, again, allergies. Breeze is a great one. Oregano is a very, very powerful antibiotic, and I have used oregano on my animals before, um, but it's in extreme circumstances, and it, you need to highly dilute it. Uh, and then frankincense we talked about, the king of all oils, it does everything. And lastly, the deep blue. So it's a great kit. It gives you all the top 10. You get a diffuser with it, and you're gonna get all this free stuff um, just for doing that. And with that purchase, you then have a wholesale account with doTERRA. That means you can buy anything um, for a, a year with this membership at wholesale cost. It's the same price that we pay as Wellness Advocates. There's no cheaper way to get it. Um, Oh, and the other thing too is when you see, um, you know, oils and things like that from doTERRA on Amazon, it's not the real McCoy, you guys. The company does not allow it to be sold um, independently other than through wellness advocates, and that's us because there is a liability with this. This is plant medicine. We have to know what we're doing, and we have to be there to educate our clients on how to use it. So when you see it on Amazon, um, that's not the way it's supposed to be sold. Plus, it's gonna be more expensive um, than getting your own wholesale account. So, um, 
What else do I use these oils for on my dogs? Mosquito, flea, tick prevention. I absolutely refuse to put any kind of pesticides on my dogs. Um, however, we have fleas, ticks, and mosquitoes here. So it's a huge threat. And what I do is I'll put some of the oils, there's a recipe for it, in the spray bottle up here that you're gonna get for free. And that's what I use to prevent and kill uh, fleas. Cedarwood oil, hi baby, actually kills fleas in all of their life stages. So um, ears, what do I do on a daily, <laughs> daily basis? I put the oils right on the ear flaps in their ears. So Melaleuca I use on my boy, lavender and frankincense is what I put right in here, rub it in, put it on the tips. I never would drip oils right down into the ear canal. I'm just gonna rub it in topically right here on both ears. And we'll do that once a week as prevention for any kind of infection. If I was gonna treat him for an infection, I would do that three times a day. And first clean out the ear too. Um, if you want more tips on my holistic, natural ear wash, um, just let me know and I'll give you that recipe. But again, it's eliminating um, you know, the harsh reality of what prescription drugs do to our animals. Um, it really is a risk versus benefit choice, but with doTERRA essential oils, there's no risk. So it's all benefit because it's not tearing down the immune system like antibiotics would. You know that when we get a, give an antibiotic to our animal, it's gonna destroy the gut because it cleans them out of all good bacteria. And it takes about a good year for that to grow back. Um, so that being said, that was what I wanted to introduce you to, the Home Essentials Kit and why you need it. And the beauty of it is you're saving money, you're not having to go to the vet for every little scratch, tick, and um, ouchie. You're empowered to do it yourself and you're empowered to do it uh, naturally. All right, you guys, thanks so much.